So I came across this thread on the forums the other day about uh, the F-18C's realistic TDC slew option here in the special options on the main menu. Um, and this is a great option. Uh, what it does is it allows you to slew around the Maverick without having to press the TDC depress button first. So if you're like me, you have an X-52 Pro um, or a Thrustmaster Warthog or something similar where you do not have a TDC depress button under your TDC stick um, then you can't you know unless you can tort your hands and press three buttons at once or two buttons at once on your throttle you can't um, slew your TDC cursor for the Maverick um, with uh, without pressing the TDC depress button but if you uncheck this and it, it's you're a, and now in unrealistic TDC slew mode, you can now slew the Maverick around to your heart's content and then press the TDC depress button to lock it, which is brilliant. This is a brilliant implementation uh, of a feature that users wanted, and it is great. However, there are a few problems. Uh, one is that it does not work with some of the air-to-ground radar modes, and we'll get to that in a second. We'll jump into a mission and I'll demonstrate it. Um, the second is that there is no description for what this option does. Some of these are fairly self-explanatory, um, HMD render I, I assume that's for VR? I have no idea because I don't have VR. So it'd be nice if that had a description. It'd be nice if Realistic TDC slew had a description, like the JF-17 has this description under T6 throttle control for opposite access direction, radar, antenna, and elevation. Um, so if we could get a description like that for the Realistic TDC slew option, that would be excellent. Um, but let's jump into a mission and show how the air-to-ground radar modes um, could also benefit from the unrealistic TDC slew being implemented. Um, here we just have the, the Blackbird flown the coop mission that I have modified with unlimited weapons because I just love going around bombing the airfield and chasing the F-117 around. Great mission. We'll wait to load in and so my trick here real quick um okay we'll enter out of ground mode while our sound kicks in here and then sensor select switch left apologize if i mispronounce uh, things and uh now slew around our Maverick. I'm not pressing the TDC depress button. I can slew around my Maverick, which is amazing. This is a great quality of life upgrade, and uh, it works as intended. However, in the thread on the forums, uh, there was, I believe, some miscommunication between uh, one of those big Nui as the, as the moderator who looked at the thread and the what the people actually wanted, which leads to um, anger and discontent from the people, uh, which is read by the moderators as toxicity. But realistically, it's actually just miscommunication on um, what actually uh, is requesting to be implemented. So, uh, if we go to our air to ground radar here left, we'll do a sensor select switch right to enter our air to ground radar. We can now move around our hat foo, which is excellent. But if I enter EXP1 mode in the air to radar, and I try to slew around the trapezoid, I cannot. So if you're looking for a workaround and you want to watch this video and you just want to know a workaround for this currently, um, if we go to in controls here, we can bind our throttle designator controller depress to button 16, which is our normal button on our on our throttle, which we can't press at the same time as moving the stick because our HOTAS setup is different, um, we can instead point it to something on our right stick. So I have my modifier button, which is joystick button 6, and then joystick button 3, we, um, which is one of the top buttons on my joystick. So we press these two at the same time, and it's I can now TDC depress in my right hand and slew in my left hand. So that's the workaround if you're just looking for a workaround. But there's no reason that the TDC, uh, the unrealistic TDC slew option, like we have for the Maverick, can't be implemented on the air-to-ground radar, too. So, um, and there's two options where this needs to be implemented. Of course, slewing around the trap is like they just demonstrated. And then let's release. And here. 
Uh, the other place where this is needed is if I depress under my hat foo, uh, it um, makes a designated waypoint and centers the TDC cursor over that. However, if I want to move that designated waypoint, if I move my hat foo over here and say I want to uh, now uh, look at, um, say, this little lake down here, if I press my TDC depress button, now I have a crosshair that I now have to slew with my TDC slew. So instead I'm gonna, my workaround is to use the, the TDC depress on my stick in my right hand, and then slew with my left hand, and then release, and then the radar will recenter over my new designated waypoint. But there's no reason that uh, um, this couldn't be, um, for example, I want to designate that lake again, um, TDC depress once to bring up this option and then slew and then TDC depress again uh, to release. And radar should recenter. There. So uh, the, 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 the solution I came up with for this, uh, for a, um, if a development engineer wants to work on this, uh, it, it should be fairly easy to, or simple to implement, not easy, nothing's ever easy in programming, um, and it always takes time and money, but uh, uh, this is possible, um, there is, when you uh, bring up the EXP1 mode, there is uh, nothing else you need to do when this trap is weighted up, is up besides slew, so slewing without pressing the, depressing the TDC button shouldn't overwrite any other functions, and then, uh, and then if we want to slew and we're zoomed in and we want to designate a target, there's no reason it can't be TDC depress once um, to bring up this cursor and the TDC slew to where you want and then TDC depress again um, to release and uh, designate the one. So, uh, yeah, I saw this thread and I saw there was a... Uh, about missiles and commanders. So I saw in this thread that there was um, some toxicity and confusion around, um, both from Big Nui, uh, misunderstanding what exactly um, the users were commenting on, and uh, the users of um, uh, not explaining very well what they actually wanted from this unrealistic TDC SEAL function. Um, and and I, I hope I've done a good job of describing it here. And really, um, this uh, could be um, the communication from Big Nui and other uh, moderators and public relations people at uh, Eagle Dynamics could um, really use a uh, upgrade in terms of um, uh, communication with the users on um, like what what is actually being understood, what is not being understood, and. Uh, what more information they need to be able to satisfy these users concerns because if that doesn't happen um, we end up with a situation like happened in this thread where uh, one side doesn't both sides don't understand each other both just get angry it's um, seen as just general toxicity by the moderators and by the community they both and it leads to an unhealthy relationship So better communication of ideas is the solution for this, and it is something we all uh, we all need to work on in our daily lives, almost always. So uh, that's all I have to say. Um, if you're looking for a workaround, I, I have showed you a workaround. If you're an uh, ED dev looking for an a easy way to implement this, I hope I have uh, Showing you that this at least can be implemented, not that it would be easy. I understand it takes money and time. Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you for your time.